Hi, I'm Regan. And I'm Lizanne. We're going to guide you through this short video to explain what the civic mirror is and how it works. It's first answer the question, what is the civic mirror? The civic mirror is a simulation-based learning program that turns classrooms into countries and students into citizens, allowing students to learn about law, government, economics, and what it means to be a responsible citizen living in a democracy. While the Civic Mirror's educational goals are to teach students life lessons and how the real world works, the game goals are to earn status points. There are three ways students can earn these status points. Economic success through well-being points, political success through hidden agenda completion, and classroom success through status point steals. What's so unique about the Civic Mirror, however, is that it enables students to learn about these things by experiencing them instead of just studying them. So what happens is a class of students live in and govern a country that looks like this. The hexes you see here represent a nation's economy and environment. And students are challenged with the difficult task of developing their economy in order to improve their nation's standard of living. Yes, but they have to balance that with trying to preserve the environment or else they'll be faced with the greater consequences that come with overdevelopment and pollution. It's not an easy task. Let's take a look at what the students will have to do to make this all work. First, students will be fulfilling hidden agendas. Each student is given a hidden agenda that asks them to play a certain political or economic role that falls on this spectrum. The hidden agendas challenge students to realize that governments just cannot satisfy everyone in a society. And they also challenge students to adopt and anticipate opposing perspectives. At another level, students are further challenged to provide for a simulated family of seven members. The more successful they are at providing for their families, the more points they earn in the game. Some of the things they have to provide are education and health care, protection from unwanted random events, and a variety of other things that responsible adults have to provide for their families. But above all, families need food and shelter to survive because, well, without them, they wouldn't. Now, students will also be given the task of managing properties. In a civic mirror country, just like in real countries and communities, there are different kinds of residential properties and business properties. And there's also a natural environment which can be developed or preserved. It's a tough choice. So students own, manage, and live in these properties, learning what it means to make a living, how we have to live with the financial choices we make in life, and how money does, in fact, influence the political decision-making process. The Civic Mirror also has students buying, selling, and trading with one another to provide for their families. Who gets the stuff is decided by the collective actions of the group, and these collective actions mirror the classroom culture, providing incredible teaching opportunities. Now, because a Civic Mirror country starts with limited resources, conflict arises as students debate and argue over who should get what. And don't forget the hidden agendas. So you might be thinking, conflict? No, I don't want conflict in my class. But managing conflict is where the real educational magic of Civic Mirror lies. Students realize that conflicts in society arise over decisions about who gets what. And they also realize the decision-making role of governments. Learning how to use their country's judicial, political and legal systems to resolve conflicts engages students. The experience also shows them how to communicate with one another in respectful ways. You see, they're not role-playing citizens. They are citizens! Okay, cool. Now, but how does the Civic Mirror work? So picture this. Students start by learning about the Civic Mirror in class. Then they go home and learn how the game works by reading the manuals and checking out the website. Next, students get started by running their first few Civic Mirror events in class on their own using the manuals. Excited about having their own family and country, the debate and discussion intensifies online outside of the classroom, which fuels even more excitement and anticipation for the next classroom events. Between the Civic Mirror manuals and the website, students and teachers are provided with everything that they need for each event. This frees teachers from typical lesson planning and helps them to broaden and intensify their students' understanding of the real world. To help teachers guide their students to make these connections, there's a growing list of reflection and connection activities in the manuals and on the website. We'll end this tutorial by introducing you to the Civic Mirror's main events. There are two stages of events throughout the Civic Mirror. First, there are the pre-game events where students build their country. Here, students learn about the Civic Mirror, 
have a practice run, create an identity for their country, receive their citizen profiles, which they love, study their constitution, elect a government, and bid to own properties in a hex auction. It's classroom community building to the nines. Then there are the game events where students become citizens living in their country. There's the government event where students pass laws and set policies. The open market event where they buy, sell and trade to provide for their simulated families. The town hall event where they debate and deliberate about problems and issues. And the national court event where they can accuse one another of crimes and sue for breaches of contract. Then the instructor ends the year and the program issues wildcards and collects taxes. Students apply for hidden agenda points and game points are added or deducted. This event sequence repeats itself as many times as an instructor likes or has time for. When this video ends, you'll be able to click on each of the event icons to learn more about them. To learn how the Civic Mirror fits into courses and classrooms, check out the next video tutorial. I hope you have a better understanding of what the Civic Mirror is. Students become citizens who live in and govern a miniature version of their own country. And learn that a nation's strength is in its citizens.